Members of the Canadian Parliament hear Mr. Churchill's speech during which he pays tribute to Canadian soldiers on active service. In a few months, when the invasion season returns, the Canadian Army may be engaged in one of the most frightful battles the world has ever seen. We are not asked that the rules of the game should be modified. If any, we shall never descend to the German and Japanese level. But if anybody likes to play rough, we can play rough too. Hitler and his Nazi gang of... of... of sown the wind. Let them reap the whirlwind. Neither the length of the struggle nor any form of severity which it may assume will make us weary or will make us quit. I've been all this week with the President of the United States. That great man whom... whom destiny has marked for this climax of human fortune. We have been concerting the uh, united pacts and resolves of more than 30 states and nations to fight on in unity together and in fidelity, one with another, without any thought except the total and final extirpation of the Hitler tyranny of the Japanese frenzy and the Mussolini flop. And of the military leaders of France at the time of the French collapse, Mr. Churchill says... But their generals misled them. When I warned them that Britain would fight on alone, whatever they did, their generals told their prime minister and his divided cabinet, in three weeks, England will have a neck run like a chicken. Some chicken. <laughs> Some neck. 